You look lonely. I can fix that. We're filming everything out of order, so I'm just gonna save you the details. And uh, oh, I'm not gonna say that. We're not doing. Here's the Mozambique drill. Back to nine millimeter. Oh my, my dot's not on. Sir, the radar, sir. It appears to be jammed. More on this later. That's not in battery. That is. It's it's just par for the course. It's just par for the course. I guess that's like stomach, stomach, neck. Not great, not great. We're gonna go to this one. I'm pretty sure I was aiming at this one. Yes, I was. There's one in the head. One, two. Nice, that grouping's not bad. Vector is great. Recoil mitigation system. I'll show you some photos. Uh, I was at SHOT Show and they have this cool uh, display thing of how this really works. I'll put a clip right here, but it virtually eliminates recoil. It's amazing. And this is the nine millimeter, which I think is better than the 45. Uh, you'll see next. It just, it's more vectory, if that's the word. It, it does what it says it does better than the 45. Minus being, a, a, a tad little bit less reliable just a tad bit but it's probably it's my max it's my max it's my max it's my max all right so we have a gen 1 and a gen 2 chris vector one is 45 acp and one is nine millimeter we're gonna run them side by side uh compare them because looking at them they're a little bit different things to note is our 45 acp that might not focus we got the cool chris mag this is just standard glock mag we'll start with the nine millimeter Okay. And the 45 ACP. This is what this gun was originally designed for, was a bigger round. The recoil mitigation system is originally designed for this, but the nine millimeter is a little bit newer. Let's try the OG. Oh yeah, a little bit, definitely there's more in the shoulder. You can feel that it's still bringing the round back down or the gun back down. But uh, the trigger on this feels a whole lot better. There's no take up here. See, way more, way more trigger on the new one. But uh, things that we did notice, we'll just show the B-roll. The main differences with these guns is the one on the right is the Gen 1 with the hinged upper and the one on the left is the Gen 2. It has a 1913 adapter to work with a folding brace and the one on the left is a pistol, the one on the right is obviously a rifle. This too. The safety on the Gen 2 is a 45 while the Gen 1 is a 90 degree. It's also considerably stiffer on the Gen 2. I've noticed in other Vector YouTube videos, everybody seems to have something to say about the magazine release and how they're accidentally dropping the mags while they're shooting. I believe you're holding the gun wrong because I've never had that happen to me. I love the controls. They're extremely fast and Set. it's Beep. super intuitive. I'm this concerned. though, this is my only gripe with the Vector. Besides whoever loads my mags, uh, handing me the wrong mag. It was two rounds first. When it gets low, like when the mags are low, it will double feed or just choke up on ammo. Not the most reliable gun, I'll give it that, but when it's wet, when it's lubed, runs great. Every time I shoot this, I love it more, even though it's
Now upon further inspection, the magazines are what is giving me a problem with this, but that's not why I'm here. I fell in love with this gun because of Call of Duty and having a jam here and there is not something I care about in the slightest. If you like this content, please comment below, please like the video, subscribe, anything. We wanna see you again. We wanna keep doing this. If this video gets one like, I'll kill a hog with this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.